Hello guys, it's Anish Rijia with another tutorial and this is on parenting and basics kind of people have been asking me for this tutorial so I'm going to make one so the basics, first of all basics, so this is cube 1, I'm going to name it 1 and then make another cube and name it 2, okay what parenting is so this is cube 2 is uh, basically it parenting is kind of the same now let me just move it up a bit Parenting is um, the same as in real life, so the parent controls the child and the child can run around freely. Uh, I guess so. I'm going to parent cube 1 to cube 2 and show you what happens. So all you have to do is drag in cube 2 to cube 1 and then if you move cube 1, cube 2 moves along with it. But cube 2 can move freely like so and then like that. This can be used in many ways such as making a guy hold a pickaxe. So select this joint. Let me just put this on a layer so I can lock it. So now select that joint. Um, and now let me unlock this. Whatever, you just, you can either find it here or something. And then just drag in the item you want it to hold. And yay, it's uh, that simple, I know. Uh, another way of doing this is you you put the axe or whatever in a null, um, name it whatever, then put a constraint on it, and this is useful because you can. This is better, uh, not better, but I um, mean good if you're working with weapons such as a sword because when you throw a sword it's difficult to animate it because it's parented to the bone so this is a way of unparenting it uh, while you're animating so you may change this to a generator change the constraint to a generator then PSR uh, and then grab in the joint which you want it to be parented to and now select your pickaxe and position it um, wow that's a fail uh, 90 degrees 45 and move it here oh I need to move this somewhere here okay so now we have full control of it still but we can't move the, the entire now because it has a constraint on it but as you can see it's um, the same thing except now we have uh, we can animate him throwing the pickaxe out of his arm uh, so let me just make a quick little throw thing uh, whatever so let's see that was pretty bad I'll be right back okay this is very old bone thing I have made so it's kind of weird so I made a quick little throw very horrible but yeah I want him to let go on this frame so click on your constraint uh, so this is the frame 29 I want him to let go so frame 28 hold control and click on this little green uh, box here hold control click it adds a keyframe uh, and then move one to the right and then click here and clear and then keyframe again so now when you see it kind of unparents it at this point um, so now you have full control of the pickaxe without the bones controlling it after this frame so if I move this it doesn't affect the pickaxe so that's how you would animate someone throwing a pickaxe or something uh, yeah, I, I had so many problems trying to figure this thing out, but lucky someone showed me. Uh, yeah, that's about it with constraints. I know there are a lot more things like clamp, mirror, parent. And parent is the same thing, but you don't, it's basically limited. P uh, PSR, you can limit it to rotation, say if you're off rotation. Um, you see that. Oh. Uh, I messed it up perfect yeah that happens when you just mess it up like that uh, anyway if you mm, really I messed it up anyway if you off the 
rotation it doesn't affect the rotation such as like when you rotate this thing over here this joint it you see it rotates the pickaxe and if you off it it doesn't affect it um and then yeah that's what a psr is position rotation stance position scale rotation so thanks for watching um i'm sorry about the basic tutorial <laughs> and because i can't think of anything else really i'm yeah bye